You'll never guess what's streaming on Amazon Prime. So if you've never seen Snakes on a Plane, it came out in 2006, and while it looks like a sci-fi movie, people actually went to see this in the theaters. Or rented it at Blockbuster. Myself included. All you need to know is that Nick Fury is fighting a bunch of venomous snakes that have been released on a plane. The why isn't important. The how is only minutely important, especially if you're one of those people that are like, that's not how snakes work. Snakes are usually peaceful animals. But here's the thing, they sprayed down the lays because it was like a Hawaiian Airlines flight with pheromones and it was causing the male snakes to, you know, become aggressive. That's all you need to know. Let me tell you, trying to watch this with Mr. Crush Parking Lot Candy is a damn adventure. So Mr. Crush Parking Lot Candy is both a plane enthusiast and holds a degree in avionics, would be plane electronics or whatever. I don't really know what he does. Because rather than concentrating on the fact that there are over a hundred venomous snakes on this plane, his focus was more on the fact that their little control room with the breakers and stuff was humongous. He's like, even on Dreamliners, they're not that big. Why is their control room the size of a fucking Walmart? And then he made a very excellent point, which led us down on a rabbit hole of research. How would the pilot not know that they were carrying at least 500 extra pounds of cargo? Now, this is where it gets interesting, because at one point, falling from the overhead lights is a green anaconda. Now, if you don't know anything about green anacondas, green anacondas are the biggest snakes in the world, like thick boys. And that's where the conversation began, because anacondas start out at about 100 pounds. And so to have one fall from the sky like that would really fuck up your weight distribution on your plane, and your pilot should have known that. I was like, that couldn't be that big, so we Googled it. Did you know an anaconda averages at about 330 pounds? 330 pounds of solid snake muscle. Do you want to know how they breed? In a big snake ball. There's usually one female in the middle, and then there's like 10, 11 male snakes that go around her. And they stay in these balls for months so that she can breed with the one she likes. So if they weigh about 330 pounds apiece, and there's about 11 snakes all together, that's over 3,000 pounds of solid snake. Now, granted, anacondas aren't venomous. They're, they're constrictors of sorts. But overall, go watch the movie because Nick Fury has had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane, and he tases them. You heard me right. The man tasers snakes. 10 out of 10.